Oh, hi, Lucas here, my favorite place in the whole wide world, the American Banjo Museum in Oklahoma City, and oh, oh hi, Johnny. Hi. Are you I'm... always just standing there waiting for me? This is what I do. I sit here all day long. Sometimes you don't show up. Huh. You don't know how lonely it gets around. There. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know why, because this place has so many great banjos and great stories behind it. Now, this is not your typical size banjo. Tell me about the Gibson Bass Banjo. Well, it's truly one of a kind. The bass banjo was the lowest voice of the banjo orchestra. Do you know what a banjo orchestra is? Um, I... It, A banjo orchestra, back in the 1920s, banjos were so popular, they tried to create orchestras. They didn't try, they actually created orchestras. They made banjos that would play violin parts and the old parts, and then they made bigger banjos which, which played cello parts, and then all the way up to what was the lowest voice in any orchestra, the bass. Huh. So they wanted to recreate the visual dynamic of a banjo playing those uh, orchestral parts. The thing about this particular banjo bass it's made by the Gibson Company. Everyone knows Gibson guitars and such, and a lot of banjo players know that Gibson made banjos, but very few people know that Gibson made a one singular bass banjo. Back in 1929, they made this for a group called Jean Goldkett and her uh, Bluebells or some, something like that. They made this banjo, they made all these parts bigger than a normal banjo, they made the neck bigger than a banjo, they put this fancy peg head that they reserved for their most expensive banjos with rhinestones in it. They made it, they sent it out to the band, they played it, and that was the only one they ever made. They never made another one. This is the only banjo bass that Gibson ever made, and we've got it at the American Banjo Museum. It's not in tune. Johnny so much. Another unique thing and a reason why you need to come to the American Banjo Museum in Oklahoma City. For more information, go to AmericanBanjoMuseum.com.